I am Molly McDonald. We're here at the Pharma and Patient 2023 Conference in Philly. And I'm pleased to introduce you to Farah Ahmad with Press Ganey. So Farah, tell us a little bit about what Press Ganey does. Uh, great, so Press Ganey is the inventor of patient experience measurement in the US healthcare market. And we measure at scale. So we measure about 47 million patient voices as it relates to their healthcare experiences every year. And is this across all disease states? All disease states. So tell me a little bit about your work in the breast space with oncology. So we have a, uh, an oncology instrument where we measure the uh, experience of oncology patients. Uh, we also are able to uh, know in our data which patient is there at visiting with what provider for kind of what area. Um, so we can actually pull out from our data the, the experience trends as it pertains to, let's say, breast cancer. Um, and, you know, we, uh, we observe human similarities, right? So what, what do patients need to be successful with their treatments? What do they need to be successful with their healthcare experiences? It's, it's, there's a common denominator. We're all humans. Uh, we need to experience compassion. We need to experience comprehension and understanding. We need to trust the ecosystem. And the measures that we develop at Prestani, we are able to quantifiably measure those elements. So what are some of the questions that patients are asked when we talk about patient experience? Can be a little more specific. Yes. So, um, you know, we are developing, uh, we actually have a pilot in the field right now for uh, instruments for clinical trial experience. And some of the questions we would ask is, uh, you know, did you trust your clinical trial care team uh, on a scale of one to five. So um, we use the Likert scale uh, model where it's a low cognitive burden for the patient to mm -hmm. respond. Um, and those are the types of questions we ask. Uh, so we really are recognizing that the face of a clinical trial is the, the site and the care team that, uh, you know, that the patient experiences as part of that trial. And so the, the way that that care team presents, how well they explain the steps in the study, how well they uh, make it the, comfortable for the patient to ask questions and they respond to the questions and the time they take with the patient um, to ensure that they feel comfortable and they trust the environment. That is exactly what we're measuring. It's really the human elements of the interaction between a patient and their care team. Do you have any language barriers with these surveys? Uh, we, we do not. So we are able to support something like 100 different languages. Wow. And so we always start uh, with validated scientifically validated surveys so in the case of our clinical trial experience survey we start with english and spanish and once we have uh, validated those surveys we'll be able to translate them into many other languages so if a patient wanted to participate in one of these surveys how mm -hmm. could they find out about it uh, so uh, typically um, a patient receives what they call an hcas survey as Can you say what, what does HCAF mean? It is a, a, re, a regulatory requirement for the CMS agency. It's an acronym for something. It is an acronym for something, and I unfortunately <laughs> do not know what it stands for. And neither do patients. It's a long okay. name. Okay, um, HCAF. But basically, it, it is to measure the patient experience. So Prescani administers those regulated surveys, and they also have we also have proprietary content. Um, so when a patient visits the hospital, uh, goes to their care provider, they're randomized into receiving a HCAP survey. Uh, so they cannot really control whether they receive that survey from the healthcare perspective. But in our clinical trial product, every patient that participates, if the site that they're participating in has opted in to survey their patients, every patient will receive a survey. And that is what we believe is so important for the clinical development process is to give every patient a voice in the process. So if I want to learn more, go on mm -hmm. the internet, what do, I, what do I put into Google? Uh, you can look up Prescani.com. Prescani.com. Uh, press is P-R-E-S-S, Ganey, G-A-N-E-Y. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Great Thank to learn so about much. this. Thank you.